type. This is another technique too. Uh, as you can see, the the bridge now has different slopings. It's not entirely straight. So the edge over here also a dynamic surface. Right. So let's create a mass. Look at the massing inside. In place mass. And we'll call it side walkway. You can try this as well. Start a new mass. Now we set our work plane to be also one of these uh, side surfaces. So you can see that this part is really um, uh, probably we can use the spline. If I use the arc passing by three points, the arc, and we try to do the same thing, let's create the first point over here, and then the second point, SE snap end, it doesn't snap, it doesn't even snap. Why? Because it's a different work plan. You see? That's one more plane and it's different than this point. So this is the problem. <coughs> right. After copying it, as we mentioned, we're going to pick this edge of the geometry and then switch to the top view and drag this part all the way over here. So I'm going to make this uh, mass surface or geometrical surface thinner and then I will move it back the same distance of the copying. So I'm going to tag 30 meters, 30 m. So it will come back in the, in the same location. I copied the ge geometrical surface to the side, 30 meters, made it narrower, and then I moved it back the same distance, 30 meters. Uh, but you can see that these points do not sit in the right plane, so we need to modify this afterwards. So in the next step, we want to select this point and switch to the front view. Okay, and I need to drag it all the way until it stops. And you can see it doesn't snap. Well, there is a snap here, you see it? That means it snapped within the end point of the, of the mullion. Right, let's do it also from the other side. We'll pick this point and we can drag it down over here. Here it doesn't snap because there isn't an, uh, a good reference end point. So I'm just going to move the view to the back and eyeball it like that. And that's given, going to give us a good surface running with the same curvature of the whole bridge. Yeah, see this point is flying up a little bit. I need to bring it down like that. So it's a continuous sheet. Okay, finish the mass. Okay, so you see the new mass over here, this little slide. So by going to massing and site, I'll select wall. And by the way, sometimes Revit creates the wall, sometimes it doesn't. It 
depends on how complex this curve is. Okay, so let's give it a try. I'll select wall. Of course, I need to, uh, to choose uh, a good solid wall uh, type, which is very thin. Yeah, and you don't choose, uh, let me show you if I choose uh, this, this uh, wall type and I pick this surface. Yeah, I did create it. You can see it here. لا حنبدا نعمل generic model for uh, for this uh, main structure element so what we need to do go to level 1 plan add a section somewhere in the middle of the bridge and then go to this section and draw a reference plane. And I have a reference plane mile in here and in here. This is the reference plane. And then we will call it a specific name. the reference plane continue we'll go to the um, uh, create an, a new in place family model in place so what do you think this family should be what category is it it's a structure frame I can tell it's a structure frame. This generic is when something is not a, a clear category. Mafish uh, bridges as a as a element of a building. But this seems to be like a structure, so it will be good to include it as much uh, as much as close as possible to the nature of that building or that project. Now, a structure frame. مش هنخسر حاجة يعني. But I'm just trying to show you انه sometimes you can use generic, sometimes if the element looks like one of the categories in Revit, you can assign it to it. So let's call it structure beam. <coughs> so now go to the 3D view of that uh, uh, in place family and set the war plane to be reference plane C and you can see it's highlighted here and as I mentioned before these reference planes are just a guide uh, it doesn't mean it has a certain area or size you can make it smaller like that just for vi uh, view visual preference so you can see now that this reference plane is exactly at an angle which represent the slope of this big arched cable this arched cable over here this little navigation wheel you can click on this little pull down menu and then you have the orient to view I can orient this whole 3D view uh, quickly to an elevation uh, or مثلا floor plan مثلا اختر floor plan or section او في عندي orient to plane فهختار orient to a plane and I'm going to choose plane C and we will start a sweep let me show you here before we did sweeps by picking an edge مش كده or picking a path. Well, I'm mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, but now we will sketch the path. So I'll go to sketch and I'll draw an arch passing by three points from here to 
to here. Okay, you see this arch is, is staying on this reference plane, huh? Again, uh, I'm inside the generic model and I went to the uh, navigation wheel and I adjusted my view or I oriented my view to a certain reference plane. You have a plane C. So this way I can actually see a true elevation of my project. And then I went to create sweep and then I selected sketch path and I've drawn this arc passing through the three points so we finished sketching the path now we want to sketch the profile who is a cylinder so edit profile and then of course we have to zoom into this uh, space over here and draw our circle which is something like that and then finish so this will give us this sloped pipe كده خلصنا ال structure pipe. It looks like it needs to go down further. يعني لازم تنزل تحت. يعني those end those edges over here they need to stretch further. So what should I do? Yes, edit in place. يعني we we modify the geometry. We select this sweep and then we edit it. We go to the sketch path and we just uh, extend it further down here and finish. And then the geometry will update to become and as if it's sticking down in the ground. <laughs>